Andrew Tate didn't completely disappear off the internet. Oh, you banned me from Instagram, did you? I'm still on private chats, motherfucker. He's back on this one app called like Rumble or something. It's like a website, I don't even know. On his emergency meeting podcast or whatever it's called, something like that. He called out KSI for being a hypocrite. And this is the thing. This is the thing. This is a personal message to you, KSI. I had no problem with you. I don't fucking know you. I don't watch your bullshit YouTube channel. But when I get banned, you want to go from a fan to just fucking instantly cowering out to the Matrix. That makes you a hypocrite. There's nothing more disgusting in the world but a male hypocrite. Ethan's a hypocrite as disgust, and as are you. You don't even stick by your guns. I you don't even know. No, he doesn't even stick by his fucking guns. He doesn't even say, you know what? Andrew was all right. He said some funny things. He shouldn't have got banned. At least Jake Paul was man enough to say stand up for fucking free speech. If you ever fought Jake, he would smash your fucking face He'd in. fucking smoke you. And if you want to get smoked twice, I'll fucking smoke you myself. You are full of shit. You're a fucking hypocrite. The shit you've said in the past is worse than anything I've ever fucking said, and you know it. You want to talk about having a boxing match. You're fucking three rounds boxing against some nobody. I will take you 12 rounds, and I will break every bone in your fucking face. I kind of agree with him, and maybe you will agree with him too after this video, but I don't know. I'm, I don't really have an opinion on this. It's just like I'm kind of in the middle of it, but I'm also kind of leaning towards like Andrew Tate's side. But I'm not really picking sides. I'm just saying, like, what Andrew Tate said was kind of reasonable, you know? It all started because of this one tweet that KSI made. It was basically saying, like, he was happy that Andrew Tate got banned. And why would he say that? Like, KSI? Who the frick is this guy? Nobody asked for your opinion. Like, why would you Why would you mess with the top G? Don't try and cancel Andrew Tate. It's not gonna go well. He's a top G. And obviously, Andrew Tate responded to that tweet. He was calling him out about it, saying he was a hypocrite. I personally kind of agree with it. Uh, kind of. I'm just leaning more towards, like, Andrew Tate's side. Like, Andrew Tate would beat the crap out of him if they were ever to get in the fight. I'm just saying, though, okay? I'm not picking sides or anything. I'm totally not picking sides. I'm just saying. And then KSI responded to Andrew Tate, responding to his tweet. So, KSI was basically saying that Andrew Tate was crying outside the club and he wants all the smoke. You know, I'm down to see this fight. Like, I want to see this fight. Like, I'll be, I'll be the first one waiting for this fight, bro. We all know Andrew Tate would win, though. How would KSI win against the kickboxing champion, the top G, the top G that got canceled one time, and now he's back already? Like, what, he got canceled, like, a week ago or something? A few days ago, he got canceled, and he's already back? He's already back on Rumble. He doesn't care. He literally doesn't care he got banned. He's a top G. What else can I say? Gentlemen and sexy ladies, I'm going to give you all a 15 second break. I want, I'm going to play a video now and I want all of you to make an Instagram story. For this video, do an Instagram story and tag rumble.com slash tape speech. Because the Matrix hates me. The Matrix, they've sat around the table. They're probably watching this right now. Head execs. Hello, Meta. Hello, guys. Hello, YouTube. I didn't want to be canceled. I was on your side. I wanted to speak for men's issues. I thought it was a place for open discourse. I thought I was allowed to have an opinion and we could make the world a better place. I'm not an extremist. I love women. I protect women. Any woman who's around me feels safe. I thought we could sit around and talk, but no, you decided my opinion isn't worth anything. You decided all the millions of men who think like me are worth fucking nothing. You decided that. I didn't want this war. You fucking did. And then you told me that I'm not allowed on your platforms and you told me that I'm not allowed anywhere. Well, that's fine because I have soldiers and we're going to penetrate the matrix. I'm going to play a video and I want everyone to make an Instagram story and let's put it all over motherfucking Instagram. Fuck you, matrix. This war has just begun. I ain't going nowhere. You have my address. You know where I'm at. Come get me.